everybody in today's video we're going to be checking out my latest amazon purchase this is the indoor digital tv antenna now there's a bunch, bunch of different ones of these that are sold on amazon the one i got is sold by a company by the name of a best box and again it is an indoor digital antenna it's got a 10 foot cord so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna just do a quick unboxing and then i'm gonna hook it up to the tv and we're gonna see how well this thing works so why would you want this Basically, it's for somebody who's either cutting the cord and they don't want to pay for cable anymore, or somebody like me, I actually pay for cable, but I don't pay for a box for every room. So I wanted one of these to see whether or not I could catch a signal. All I'm looking to really do is be able to watch some local sports and news, and I don't want to pay $10 a month for a cable box. So let's take a look at what we get. Instruction manual. So all of these are pretty much the same. Basically what we're going to have is you're going to have um, a cable that's going to connect from the antenna to the back of your TV using the regular cable jack that's on your TV. And then a lot of times they'll come with a booster. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and show you how well it works with the booster or without the booster to see whether or not the booster is really needed. So that's the instructions. This is going to be the antenna. So they've got some sticky pads on the back here. Ideally, you want to kind of mount this thing on a window or somewhere near a window so that it catches a better signal. It's nice and flat compared to your old rabbit ears. That's the size of it, so it's not very noticeable. And then again, they give a 10 foot cable with this one. So you could just plug this into the back of your TV and just try it with this, see how it works. Or they give you this booster. So let's take a look at the booster real quick. And basically what the booster is going to do is you're going to plug it in to this and then you'll actually plug the booster in to the back of your TV instead. And actually I showed you that wrong. This is going to plug in here. This end would plug into the back of your TV. And then you've got a USB end that you would need to run to a power supply. Now this one doesn't have any kind of controls on the booster. It's a simple plug and play. Some of them I know have like a mid range and a short range. But let's connect it to our TV and see how many channels we get. Okay, I'm gonna do a channel search with my digital indoor antenna. Let me show you my setup here. All I did is I ran the antenna just put it up on a window right above this TV here that I'm looking to connect it to. Now, I will say this. I tried to do it without using the booster. I did not find any channels without the booster. So now I'm going to try and do one with the booster. I'm assuming you might have to use the booster in order for this to work. Hopefully, uh, we will get some channels. Every TV is going to be different on mine. Basically, when I power on the TV, because I haven't used it in a while, it's saying to do a manual search. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Menu. And I'm going to go over to channel. You're going to want to make, make sure if you're looking at your TV setup, you would not be using cable. You would be using air because you're using an antenna. And I'm going to go ahead and do an auto scan. And let's see what we find. Okay, so it looks like it found 43 channels, and let's take out, check out the quality of them. Pretty good now. I don't know what these will be, but the quality seems to be very good. I'm assuming some of the channels might be pixelated.
So the quality is great. Again, this is a non-subscription. You're not paying anything. The only cost you have is the antenna itself and then the electricity to run the booster. But anyway, I hope that gives you an idea of what the quality is like. Again, I've got 43 channels. I would assume as the weather tends to fluctuate, you might have a few more, you might have a few less. But nonetheless, this indoor digital antenna seems to work pretty well. I hope the video helps.